Hello, little bookworms. I'm Miss Abby, and welcome to Abby's Reading Room. I'm so glad you're here. Today, we'll be reading a book called Clifford the Big Red Dog. It's about a dog who's very big and very red. Come on, let's go. Abby's Reading Room. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Written by Norman Bridwell. I'm Emily Elizabeth and I have a dog. My dog is a big red dog. Other kids I know have dogs too. Some are big dogs. And some are red dogs. But I have the biggest reddest dog on the street. <laughs> This is my dog, Clifford. <laughs> we have fun together. We play games. I throw a stick and he brings it back to me. He makes mistakes sometimes. We play hide and seek. I'm a good hide and seek player. I can find Clifford no matter where he hides. We play camping out, and I don't need a tent. He can do tricks, too. He can sit up and beg. Oh, I know he's not perfect. He has some bad habits. He runs after cars and catches some of them. Why, I oughta? He runs after cats, too. We don't go to the zoo anymore. He digs up flowers. Clifford loves to chew shoes. Oh boy. Uh oh. It's not easy to keep Clifford. He eats and drinks a lot. Mmm. His house was a problem too. Look, it's bigger than her house. But he's a very good watchdog. <laughs> The bad boys don't come around anymore. One day, I gave Clifford a bath. Look, he's taking a bath in the swimming pool. And I combed his hair and took him to the dog show. I'd like to say Clifford won first prize, but he didn't. He got second. I don't care. You can keep all your small dogs. You can keep all your black and white and brown and spotted dogs. I'll keep Clifford. Aww. Wouldn't you? The end. Can you believe how big Clifford is? He sure gets into a lot of trouble being so big, but he really is a good dog with a good heart. Do you have a pet? What kind of pet do you have? I have a dog and his name is Pancakes. <laughs> but he isn't as big as Clifford. If you're having as much fun as I am reading all these wonderful books, make sure and subscribe and I'll see you next time.